most amount of pressure that I've seen a Mars get in the in the first two three waves. Yeah, it worked off. I mean, he's got great CS count too. He's eleven and four, right? It's not like the harassment that he was putting out came at the expense of him. However, he does not have a quelling blade on the main hero. Oh, what a route! A great time for him. The disruption to stop the TP as well. The blood grenade comes out. Twenty three just baiting him, dude. I think he might have missed Micro a slight bit there as Amar will be the one to grab the first blood on the Mars. So now having 12 CS actually isn't that bad because he started off with 3 and 11 on the other side. So at least in the past couple of waves, he's been keeping it equal between him and the uh, and the lone druid. Well, top lane. They're going to try and rotate in the Nature's Prophet. Crit is here. They're going to get him with the Sprout, but a great blast off. Uh, you might just put yourself in danger. Good disarm out from Q. They don't manage to stay on top of Crit. The Blood Grenade will come through, and it's just a matter of time. They've got the damage and jabs. Needs to be careful. Another, Another Earth Spike. They've got him. He throws the hammer back to try and slow this down, but they've got the stuns, like you said, and Crit will find the kill. I mean, Techie is kind of baiting them back into the engagement. Without the Warcry, he wouldn't have been able to do so, but even one level of that spell allows you to be so freaking speedy. Bottom lane looking for 23 Savage. Malreen's going to go in. He does get the... Oh, wow. I said he's going to get the true form off, but he instantly died. If he gets it off, I think he still dies, but it's a much tougher kill. It will cost you your mid tower here, most likely, as Armel is getting to work on it. And Shadow Demon here does manage to grab himself the regen. A good rotation in for the rest of the heroes. Here comes the Tom Breaker, though, and that is going to take that uh, Storm Spirit down. It is crit in some trouble as well to blast off to find it. So it ends up costing you two heroes in the mid lane. It's really funny watching the like lion follow the storm speed around and just like vomit mana into him mid lane. They're looking for an opening. The question is, can you get the storm? It has to be a blast off, but oh, Got him. can you time it? Uh, Dragon Tail comes out. The blast off comes through. The spike doesn't actually connect, but they still manage to jump away for the moment. Maureen will try and TP, but he's got a lot of poison stacks. In comes Armel. The it's line lame. actually catches the storm. Oh, the bubble actually saving him for the moment, but it's not enough. He's going to die. And now Mars TPing in, trying to get aggressive. Great sprout block here from Crit. Is here comes the Dawnbreaker, though. And they're just crumbling one by one. Sven on the backside just getting kited out by Ollie. And Amar, he can't do anything. He's just dead as well. Aurora is just running them over at the moment. Oh, these Sven illusions are super fast. He's dead. He got him. Uh, at what cost, though? He is being surrounded. They know where he is. Doesn't have the mana at the moment. Can use, yep, the uh, int treads, and that should be enough. Dragonite is coming. Whoa. And if he gets the true form off and manages to dodge out that burst, then it's fantastic. But they're walking right into a smoke from Aurora. They're responding bottom. They know that the target here is going to be this lone druid. But in comes all. <laughs> Oh, no. You know, it's all right. Uh, they do manage to grab the Storm Spirit, though. That was a fantastic turnaround. They actually know where the Dawnbreaker is. That's the perfect target to go for. The Storm is already setting up. This is a great kill if they can get him. Maureen needs to be able to just stop any sort of ult or TP. And with crit here, with the Vessel as well, he's going to take so much damage. All right, crit is online. He's got his build, the Vessel and the Shard. They're drawing the lines bottom immediately. Like you said, they know the Shadow Demon's up there, so they're going bottom. Ollie kind of reading this pretty expertly as he TPs bottom as well. He's going to try and play just right behind 23 Savage as Amar comes in, has the arena. Oh, he ends up getting feared away. He's lost all his mana now. There is no arena coming out from 23 Savage. Just knowing exactly what to do. Roche time. That was there. sick. Dude, the fear into, like, he basically pops the fear into Diffusal uh, so that the, the Mars is going away. He just sits there and just lays into him, burns like 200 mana. Okay, so then it wasn't because uh, Fly is not on this uh, side. So it was it was actually safe on the, uh, on uh, the okay. line. Uh, I remember that. That, that like sounds safe. right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they caught Storm Spirit. Underneath the ward, I mean, it's very scary to be that far forward on this storm. You aren't super tanky yet, and they're not the ones that are choosing how this game is gonna go. It's actually Aurora who are the ones that are dictating the uh, the tempo, and yeah, he's uh, he's committing for it. 
Alright, top lane looking for jabs. I mean, they know he's going to be on the opposite side of the bay of the map from them. Instant BKB out from the Dawnbreaker as he might be forced to ult away here. He's going to regret sticking around, I think. There's going to be the arena out from Amar, and he's trapped Q as well. Skinner looking for the opening. There it is, the Stormhammer in, but Amel will be able to return the damage. And now Skinner with a peek. Okay, he's just going to melt those illusions. They're trying to just bring down this DK, but can they? The spear oh, comes out. In. The Dawnbreaker coming back in, but the Stormhammer doesn't quite dodge it out. And Jabs finds the return kill instead. Amar with a double kill. The God's Greed coming out at the perfect time, but nice. crit on the back side, dude. He is crushing this fight on this Nature's Prophet. Amar what? comes back in, slaps him down for the triple kill. Dude, I want to see the damage done from the Nature's Prophet. I feel like this was mostly crit in this fight. Crit? Oh, man, crit. Nerves of steel right now, seeing everything that Aurora is doing. Roche. I mean, they're smoking. He is just trying so hard to hide behind this tr this uh, tree, and it is working. Will the Wrath of... I mean, he can honestly sprout ult. He's looking for his opening. Gets caught. A nice grab onto the Shadow Demon as he's trying to find the kill, but they don't manage to do it in time, and Crit will be the first one to go down, but in comes the rest of the team. Malreen just destroys that Shadow Demon, and now... We'll see if the Dawnbreaker can find his target. Skitter forced to BKB. 23 Savage just running him down. Inspire. Good by snaking a defensive arena to escape. I mean, that's a great play here from Aurora. A good attempt from Crit nearly taking the Shadow Demon down at the start of the fight, but too late on the smoke rotation. Well, actually, backdoor protection is going to kick not in. Enough. It does. Yeah, not fast enough. You, you, you too much damage coming out from this lone druid. Mallory needs to be very careful. He knows they've got to be hunting for him. Uh, he's going for the TP. He will. Armel. Uh, he gets the Dragon Tail. Oh, no. And, of course, Dawnbreaker can rejoin this fight at any moment. And, yep, with that one, Armel gets himself a massive kill. But it still feels like they're lacking to, to secure the kills on Aurora. Like, Aurora just seems too tanky at the moment. A Solar Guardian with see. an Aghanim Scepter is a problem. Yeah, they're coming up onto the high ground. The Savage Roar doing some work. Malreen trying to get this fight started, maybe, but in comes Skitter, jumps onto the bear, and immediate Dragon Tail, and he's going to get surged away thanks to that Disperser, but Snaking will clear up the first set of illusions. Stun. We'll catch the bear. Okay, you might have baited yourself. The chain stuns. He's got a BKB. Skitter in control, but a nice arena on the backside from the Mars. Pins up the techies, but you've lost Skitter. He just dies. Mars will be able to find a return kill onto the Shadow Demon. He's going to try and TP back to the base. He can do it, but the rest of your team in shambles. Bash. Snaking rooted up. The Bash catches the Star Spirit. It's a four for one. Unfortunately, Malreen is just not as lucky as Zamar. And uh, the thing is, you are missing two of your cores. Then you uh, do even more damage there because of the, uh, the magic. Hey, he's got it. I think. No. Uh, actually, no, he's still short. He doesn't have the uh, Demon Edge. So, no Divine Rapier quite yet for Amar. He's going to do his best. Maybe he can find a kill here on the Q. Gods are Oh, he gets the Glimmer off. Ah, and with everything. that, the throne exposed. They're going to try and just bring this down. I mean, Crit doing a good amount of damage here to the bear, but 23 Savage as well as Armel, it's more than enough, and that's going to be game number one going for Aurora. Yeah, nicely done. I mean, when we saw the draft, it was obvious that Aurora had the advantage, and they uh, they played a decent game. It really was a problem this uh, this lack of damage on the side of on the side of Falcons. Yeah, but Snake King's got the the style, right? He's got the the uh, uh, the persona there, looking nice and fresh. And you keep playing them; they're so cold. Very true. Very true. Top lane, Crystal Maiden does end up dying. That's going to be the first blood. Uh, mid lane, they will force the Lina back. So he's going to walk base, get his bottle fully refilled, and be ready to fight for the six minute runes, most likely. So that's his goal. Crit will go ahead and pop the tag team, the sh shards as well, back behind the tower. And there it is the God's Rebuke damage to find the kill. We saw this last game, the Mars being able to punish the lone druid is crit trying to hobble away here i don't know if he's gonna make it going for those early boots of travel which is expected i think at this point is pretty much what we see out of every mid lena and he's gone four points in the dragon save we'll see where he goes with his next set of points as they're gonna snowball in try to get on top of our mel with the laguna blade i think they have the damage they do well played from crit what was he thinking i mean he had vision he knew that this was happening
I mean, this is a really fast smoke. They know where the lone druid is. He's underneath the ward. Oh, no! Please, please don't disconnect. Please don't disconnect. All right, 23. Is he going to die? Oh, no. Find the out servers. in the next episode. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. That's a scary thing for them. Yeah, I was going to say, with the infest as well, right? I thought they would rotate to the lifestealer lane and, and just, like, go for the arena spear. And there it is. It's going to be able to claim a Mar uh, Armel here as, yeah, that's all it takes, right? Blink, arena spear, the infest bomb, and you can't stop this hero. So, Not at all. Not at all. And you have your towers to work around to catch people from, so you can definitely get yourself back into the game even more. Okay, Pango is under vision. They're going. He swashes in just to farm, and yep. Amar knows the follow-up very easy from crit there, and that will be another kill onto the Pangolier. If I'm this Pango, I'm buying a shard. I'm buying a shard right now. Yeah. I would get so annoyed by Amar and his uh, and his grabs that I'd have to go for it. Darkul has a blink dagger. You do not see that usually this fast on this hero, but Amar infested up, continuing to just look for more. They get onto the backside, the root and the fear catching him, but a big RP from Jabs. The skewer is going to bring back crit. A great freezing field from Snake King, though. He's just trapped the lone druid. Okay, you get the Mars, but it costs you heavily. Oh, Jabs is gonna have a BKB. This Magnus will actually pack a punch, and Aurora needs it. This is this is good for Aurora to have another strong right clicker because the uh, the Pango isn't gonna con be contributing in that department uh, for quite some time. Oh wow, a quick RP. The Bedlam comes through. They just punish a Mars as he tries to go for this tower uh, for this wave. Okay, I don't think he expected that at all. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that does not feel super good. Aegis will be on 23 Savage for the next five minutes. Right, you gotta get a good target, target again. Uh, Magnus is out as well. This was really nicely set up by Falcons because while the Roche was happening, they shoved in both the mid and the bottom lane. But very nice read from Aurora. Okay, not that nice. Oh, ends up being off the mark there, but not popping the Infest quite yet. They know that they want more for this. As Mars is still looking, still on the hunt, manages to get a first hit root there onto crit, gets feared up as well. But oh, nice the job. arena! He finally finds the Pangolier and Ollie in trouble as well. As the life stealer will just run right through him, they and now board. 23 Savage inside the base. Your bear is just no food for this life stealer. They find the real hero. It kills him, and the spear finds the Dark Willow as well. Q just no burning way. to this radiance. He can't get out, dude. No way. They just dive them. There's no. They do your one tower in the top lane is still there, and you wipe Aurora. It's not only that, you're gonna be getting the Tormentor and the Wisdom Rune. Everything goes their way. Roche means absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. Tormentor stronger than Aurora, getting more kills. <laughs> uh, crit snowballed, and I think that tiny bit of extra damage that he would have taken killed Snake King. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to maybe grab something in the mid lane here while they're uh, showing some heroes bottom and snaking. Yeah, they, they're actually just going to RP the Crystal Maiden, but in comes snowball Crit. Save. They pull him back. The snowball save. Is it there? He's got it for the moment. Snaking buying a lot of time as Malreen making his self shown, but he's in really deep by himself. Where's the rest? Here they there are, they finally! Are. Amar with the blink in, trying to get on top Believe of Armel, more. but the, the roll-up's protecting him the swashbuckle away. They're just gonna focus 23 Savage here on this lone droid. He's got a resummon. You're losing all of your mana no here mana. on this life stealer. The arena, the spear out finally from Amar, but now uh, Armel's got a rolling thunder again. And Jabs is looking for his target. The rage trying to buy his Can winning. 23 Savage make it out? He will not. Amar on the run. The spear back with the use of the soul ring will get him some space, and Ollie will be able to finish off the life stealer uh your lena went in way too early it seems and one of these teams will get out of position long enough to start the fight and they're going to smoke up immediately they want to try and get on top of these heroes the the bear is not the best target you got to get something else good position for aurora but they shouldn't get the magnus up there he blinked in that should not be happening they want to go to the they other get side the, of the spear map. pin him against the shards and can they bring him down they do the instant tp out from the rest of aurora as they thought maybe they could make it bottom for the roche respawn or the roche like move but he went too early 
they they didn't have the luxury to go for it because you didn't see your opponent. Uh, That's the thing. Careful. Skater, instant rage coming He's through. He knows that they were going to be here. The spear will put the Enchantress into the wall. Crit feared up for the moment as well. He needs to be able to get that snowball off. He's taking a lot of damage, but 23's bear is just chewed to pieces by Skitter and this new BKB. And it's only a matter of time before the rest of Aurora joins him. Jabs needs to be the most patient one on their team. Unless you're already pre-channel, unless you already have like the rolling thunder there to, to stun him up, it's gonna be so difficult. And so you do have some ways of stopping that uh, life that are eating your bear alive. It's, it's gonna happen, but at least it's gonna happen slow. There is a Lincolns on Jabs, which is quite nice. He also happens to just have so much mobility and will. We'll just see another RP used to bring down the Crystal Maiden. Uh, Gem turn hits around. the deck though, ends up being super worth it, but the spear out from Amar, never mind, they just turn it around, they manage to get themselves a pick off onto the Magnus, the Gem, they're looking for who's got it, but they get Armel on the backside, he's gonna pop that Rolling Thunder and continue to run. Will they chase? He does have a TP in a moment, the Shards Ooh. tries to block him off, beautiful jump there from Armel. It's like, who can you actually kill? Dude, Mar Malreen just hiding on the high ground here under the cover of his Aghanim Scepter. Has a blink dagger in a couple seconds, but... Look at the other side. Yep, they found him. The wraparound perfectly done. And once again, 23 Savage. Pops the roar to try and get them to safety, but they'll get the kill anyway. Skitter was thinking about killing the bear first. That was uh, what they were contemplating there, but... Mar is ready, Ricky. Like, we, we don't care about the stuns oh, or whatever. Let's look Mar at this here. guy. Production, We you know the drill. Dude, this Dark Willow has done a really good job at, at split pushing. Again, we see him just barely dodging out the, the side of Falcons uh, for that smoke. They are running at bottom immediately looking for jabs, and the snowball will will continue. He does have Horn Toss and RP available, but it's going to be the BKB, and in comes Mars. Armel forced to pop the Rolling Thunder. He's going to make it back to base safely. Yeah, because if you die, you give them the rapier, let's say to a Magnus, it could be a problem, maybe even to a Dark Willow, if she gets an Aghanim Scepter there, you could be in, in a lot of trouble. Alright, they will claim themselves their first lane of barracks here. Very, very true, so yeah, Skitter will be getting that one. That's the third Roche, right? So, Refresher is gonna be there, give it to Amar so that he can get the double God's Rebuke. We can assume that it's ending up good for uh, Falcons, but... Yeah, we are just waiting here, Ricky. I am. I'm gonna cry. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Yep. yep. We'll see what happens. I, I I'm gonna hope that like they haven't found their fight yet, and they're still just like smoked up on the low ground waiting. But it looked like they were they wanted to jump, right? Like the crit was already infested. Mars is ready to go in. But uh, hopefully, yeah, we can get back into this game like ASAP. It's unfortunate we've been having so many issues with the servers today. Okay, uh, Londra died. Okay. I guess not technically the end. Uh, could have been, you know, we could have missed more for sure, but not really sure how. The 23 Savage dead without buyback. Definitely one of the best case scenarios you could ask for. Oh, there's the stun, the skewer back. They managed to find Skitter, uh, but he's managing to just sustain. There's the open wounds. He lives and they get the kill. He's going to infest into Amar crit a good fear. Okay. Amar. We want Amar. Oh, Yules. Dude, wind was that waker. a Wind Waker? Yep. That is sick. There's still some issues with the server, obviously. And, yes. Uh, we are seeing it. There's the double rapier. Okay, he has a thousand damage. A little bit less than that. As they are trying to find their opening to close out this game. Let's see if they can do it. They're walking right over to the bear. They get him on the perfect wall response initiation. But there it is, the first RP. A nice Wind Waker to buy some space. But, dude, <laughs> Malreen and Mars just delete the... He dude, how much... Oh, okay, 23 Savage's name. I looked to me and I was like, did that guy just get 23,000 gold <laughs> for this kill? Lana Barracks should eventually fall. Mars now has an A on disc himself. He's not risking um, losing the rapiers. Yeah, he just wants to be able to run himself out, but he knows that he's going to be popping the BKB. Another Wind Waker save. They just cannot get the skewer back. Oh, actually, they got the, uh, the Tusk at least something. Oh, I, did, I literally didn't even see where the Tusk was. All right, nice grab. Okay. 
We're back. Skewer, they've managed to get the life stealer, but can you kill this guy more than once is the question because he's going to be able to just infest it. Yeah, okay, you can't. Yes, Enchant just will. Let's see. No crit for 30 seconds. I mean, he's a big hero in these team fights. Sure. They are going to catch the scan. Jabs, if he manages to get the RP onto the correct heroes, it would be amazing. They find Skinner. The Skewers got him back into the fear. The nice Wind Waker again from Malreen every single time to bail him out. But he's going to be in some trouble. Aeon Disc will protect him. They're looking to try and just bring down this bear. And they do. The first one will go. Oh my goodness. Enchantress deleted by the Mars. As they're looking for more, they get the life stealer once again. The skewer back, but he will just he's pop the strong. range, turns it on, trying to get aggressive, and he will continue to just chase him around. Gods are beautiful. I hear on the backside, but there's the RP. They're just doing their best. Uh, Arena, it does end up catching one, but it's just <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny watching this Mars man. Come on, let him go, baby. <laughs> Oh, that was through the E blade. That's even more damage. He's Another just gonna one? keep taking the Bonk. kills. Yeah, <laughs> he's just gonna keep taking every kill on the Mars. Uh, Skitter and Crit will make quick, quick work of these. Yep, that was uh, that was pretty easy. So finally, now you have the uh, you have the Megas and Aurora are gonna be playing this until the very end. Dude, okay, Malreen is literally mind flaying this Magnus. Every single time he is just ready with a blink wind waker to save whoever is getting caught from these uh, horn tosses. This is actually so sick. Crit with a BKB. He's just going to kick Armel out of the, the base here. Tries to trap him in the shards, but does not manage to do it. What would you do if you were not a Dota player? Crit would most definitely play football. That was an insane kill. Yeah, that was really cool. They do manage to find Snaking once again. A nice horn toss, but they don't have the skewers back. And Skitter will take him down. No RP for you. And just like that, the base crumbling on the backside is Snaking. He's the one focusing the building. Skitter now going to turn his attention on over as well. Crit's still alive somehow. Bunk. What a mar! Come on, dude! That's just not fair. I mean, it's... Uh... If I was getting out of a tournament, I would want Amar to just God's rebuke me out of it like this. Like, thank you, Amar. I think that's what Aurora are going to be saying after this one because he really literally kicked them out.